Hello everyone. Uh right now it is um well you, you know me playing Smite as usual. But there's a twist this time. And that twist is Manticore complained to me saying Bro, get out of my lane. Even though he got double ulted. And mind you, he got ulted. This is me complaining right off the bat. So, you know, get used to it. But uh, he got ulted by Fenrir. And he uh, got ulted by Scylla at the same time. And then he's whining like I could have stopped it. Now, I don't know why he gives people like him mid. Who want to complain at the slightest inconvenience. But because of him... I'm going to complain at the slightest inconvenience myself. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to show them what exactly happens when you talk down to the one guy whose job it is to babysit you. So, um, yeah. <laughs> this is just more or less just me playing exactly how other people get pissed off or something like that. I don't know. Point is, uh, I'm no longer actively helping my team <laughs> so that, and that you get to see me actively not help my team this is this is the dark side i've went over to it <laughs> they think they can play without a support they can play without a support i'm tired of getting in matches where people go oh i don't need you blah blah blah, 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 blah. And like, okay cool you don't need me you don't need me you do your own thing but i'll do my own what am i looking for uh, let's see. I was readjusting myself. I shall get... I mean... Nobody really needs to run away, and it's not like I care about my team, so... And there's that, too. Now, honestly, they can help themselves. I helped... Uh, so... T uh, what you call it? Some tidbit of information, right? So the three kills we did get. Two of them were on Guan Yu, because I went to go help Solo real quick. And I went over, right? I don't even know where that last one came from. Well, actually, no, I do. Uh, that last assist came from me helping Loki get Scylla. And so I know where all three of my assists came from. And on top of that, I ended up getting somebody too. Which is why I got one kill, right? And I know it's funny because I'm just casually chatting, just chilling. And they're suffering. This is what happens when you talk down to the babysitter. I can take away your protection privileges in a heartbeat. And golly, is it fun to do. So th this is... Uh, this is chaotic evil. Or something like that. I don't care. Oh, look. And then now everybody else is starting to know it's a lack of support. I could care less, dude. Good luck. <laughs> yes. Yes! Big. Because I, originally I quaid for jungle and mid. I'm platinum too. I don't throw hissy fits whenever I get, when I don't get what I want. I throw a hissy fit when they proceed to belittle the role I'm in because, oh hey, support's the role I can dog on. You can dog on support. There's a reason I got a border and... I'm, yeah, there's a reason I got a platinum border on this idiot. Uh, I play support a lot. You think I'm tired of support? <laughs> oh my gosh. One of my more toxic matches to highlight, you know, really paint this game. And the way, because I know a lot of, like, people, whenever they record matches and stuff, they show them matches like, oh, hey, this game is like a 10 out of 10, blah, blah, blah. This is fun, guys. No, this this is the type of toxicity you can deal with. And look, rule number one, never talk down to your support. All right? Because <laughs> that's the team. And like I said before, that's the team babysitter. It's my job to save you. If you talk down to me, I'm not going to save you. People keep forgetting. It's a team game, dude. I will leave you in a heartbeat. I could care less. All right. It's that like it's that one meme where it's like, oh hey, you're supposed you're supposed to be part of the unit. You can suck my unit. <laughs> I'm out of here. Tropical Thunder. That's what it is. I think that's what that's the movie it came from. That movie Robert Downey Jr. 
play a black guy in? <sighs> uh, so, I can do one of two things. I can play the suck it up buttercup route and, you know, actually go help them now. Because now they, they learned their lesson. Or, I can assume they did not learn their lesson and I can just keep on not helping them. Because, realistically, I could care less at this point. I am like... All they had to do in order to keep me on their good side was just leave me be. And the one person in general that, you know, was the trigger for it all was Manticore. Once Manticore started talking trash and acting like he was in the right for, in the first place, picking mid-Manticore, and then he started whining, talking about some, bro, you gotta set me up. What am I supposed to set up here? Your poison slow is... Your little one ability that you do isn't really helpful. I mean, you're good when people are shoving themselves in your face, but when it comes to actually confirming a kill, like actually, like put it this way, Manticore's good when it's like this, when they're running at him. But when he's doing this, he's horrible. And that's basically the, be the best explanation of Manticore that I could put. And that's the best explanation for a lot of gods. Like there are certain gods where they're good at this. And then other gods who they're better at this. Like Rama, for example. Uh, he can do this or this. But he's best at this. Get away from me, you freak of nature. I hate you. Uh, but yeah, Rama's best at this. Fighting when they're shoving themselves in his face. Because he buffs himself. He does his thing. Oh, look, Shang'a's typing. What are you typing, Shang'a? Huh? Oh, what? Why am I throwing Axe the Manticore? Your hmm? You know what I want to say, but I can't say that. <laughs> ah, it does put a smile on my face. Uh huh. Ah, and then this is what they go with. And you see, you see, it's like. I get it. You know, you're mad because good old support isn't helping you. But at the same time, it's like. Bro, you you can't just throw disrespect in my face. Mm -hmm. And then look, now they now they oh you throw because of someone you're weak. <laughs> I throw because I'm in support, which is already annoying as is, especially when not the flex, but especially when you got a platinum board. <laughs> uh, I know that border means nothing, but especially when you uh, play support a lot, right? It, it gets tiring when people want to nitpick and complain, talking about something. You could have done this better. You could have done that better. Dog, how about you be grateful that I kept you alive as long as I did? <laughs> All right. And then it's especially bad. Like, this is like a TSA for Kefries at this point. TSA for Kefries and who else? Gebs, along with anybody else who has a pretty good save. Whenever you're a support and you're trying to save somebody, right? If you're a Kefri in general, like let's let's highlight Kefri. If you're a Kefri, right? What people like to do is they like to whine and complain as if you have your old up 24/7 and then expect you to go, "Oh, well why didn't you help me?" I'll let the Phoenix get taken again then I'll step in and help them. But if they say anything else, I'm <laughs> then I'm going back to some of the bag. Oh, such a shame. Well, mine's a little bit of lag there. I don't even want to protect that. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh no. They're taking everything. Whatever shall I do? I do need to get that uh, other thing though. See what happens when you have somebody here to slow them? Look at this. Somebody whose active job it is to be as toxic as possible. Help people in their time of need. Even pop Medi to buy time. I mean, he still died. But Shengai can get him. I mean. Oh. And I survived. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. We're, I think we're at that point where it's a little bit too late for me to jump back in at this point. 
Because you know everybody else is level 20 and chilling. And it's like you everybody go out of their way to insult the support. And then when the support withdraws his grace, it's one of those like if you play like somebody like Aphrodite, right? And everybody said, oh, you suck at healing people. Second you stop healing them, where's my heals at, bro? Oh, now you need my heals. But before, I suck at healing, huh? So what, what, what is this? What is this complaining? Support game, two Phoenix down. Wow, very late. I don't care. I, I, I really don't. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, this this is what what should I call this? I should call this smite toxicity at its no no. I use at its finest too much. Uh, I can call this what happens when you uh, uh when you uh bite the mama bear or something like that. I don't know, dude. You know, something something special like that, I guess. Look at that, I'm level 20 now. He's getting raw rod to death. Look, and then he laughing on him. Oh, look at the manticore. You see what I mean? Look at him getting put down. Somebody's on. And then look at him trying to hide in that. I'm more obligated to protect her than you. I can care less about anybody else. <laughs> uh, I can care less. I'm. I. My job is to protect Shanga. Granted that she. I did not. Well, not I did not. But granted that I did see that she went out of her way to insult me. Uh, gun dash. Such a shame. But granted that she went out of her way to insult me. At the same time, she's the one that gave the less, uh, the least reaction to it so to speak like upon her seeing that I was not par actively participating in the game anymore she was the only one that even uh, that basically put it the nice way so to speak and then look Mant Manticore is one of those he blames everybody but himself dog you chose Manticore and you were getting dunked on by Scylla and you know what? Let's see the stats. I'm going to show everybody the stats. You're going to see the black bars on the side because I can't be bothered with that. But you're going to see the stats, right? And, oh, I I, asked, I also sent a message to Guan Yu. Talk, I, like, I whispered him, telling him, oh, yeah, he's all yours. Go crazy. Uh, but here, 30 minutes in, 8,000 damage. And he, he was our mid, by the way. He was supposed to be our mid. The only reason why this person chose Shanga. He was the last to pick. The only person why he chose Shang Ah was because he chose Manticore for mid. So basically, but he was trying to balance it out, right? 8,000 damage. Now you tell me, and with him sitting right next to me, and I was hardly even involved in myself near the end, right? You tell me exactly what went wrong in this scenario, right? Because the way I see it, it was him insinuating that he could do no wrong and then proceeding to do wrong look and this is why i said yo manticore on this side is complaining to me so i'm not going to protect him anymore so he's all yours right because like why why would i go out of my way to protect that if, if you're just gonna whine to me talk about so bro you need to get out of mid because you're playing afk i'm rotating from solo to mid back and forth right because i'm like eh actively trying like when i show up i'm actively trying to get you that kill so you can get ahead and get give you something you know i can't do that with a manticore because the way he plays like i said before where certain gods are good forward certain gods are good backwards he was manticore is good backwards that's it he is severely weak going forwards he's only good going backwards with <laughs> And if you follow that philosophy where it's like you recognize who's good going forwards, who, who's good going backwards. Like, for example, let, let me let me go ahead and show everybody, right? So, Sobek, uh, how do you play him? Hmm, well, 
he's good going i would say th this is just me you know doing a general like skill check because now now it's got me intrigued about you know who's who's really good going forwards and backwards uh loki he's good going forwards that's about it. He has a very weak backwards. And w when I say very... And so I'm going with Loki because I play him a lot first. So let me go with the easy ones before I have to go and try and figure out the hard ones. But Loki's very good backwards, right? No, not backwards. Forwards. Loki's very good forwards. He sucks at backwards. And the way, way I mean by that is if somebody's in your face, aka backwards, you're not going to win that. Because usually they're in your face with a plan. And Loki excels at going forwards into somebody who doesn't see it. He's basically the... He, he is the equivalent of Truck Coon in anime, right? Where he's like, he hits you out of nowhere. And then you're just off to another world. In most cases, you're just basically dead, right? Ganesha, is he good forwards or backwards? He's good backwards. He He's meant to react and handle the situation. Forwards, when he's being aggressive, no. He sucks at being aggressive. Uh, Scylla, forwards or backwards? Uh, Scylla's more, she's a, more or less balanced in between, forwards and backwards. Backwards, because if somebody's in Scylla's face, all she has to throw, and do is throw those dogs, throw a circle, she can turn it around. Forwards, because if you're a confident Scylla who can hit your stuff, nobody can really do anything against you. Fenrir, forwards or backwards? But same thing both ways because forwards if he pounces on you that pounce does a lot and literally if so here's how Fenrir's work and here's a quick little PSA about Fenrir's all their damage is in that leap you dodge that leap you pretty much won the fight <laughs> that, that's all I can say for that because I play Fenrir uh, at least enough to know that leap misses you're gonna lose <laughs> And then, well, in most cases, yeah. But in other cases, if you build them right, you can get, you can still get some value off the little raw raw, and that's that's the three, right? Where he like, where he says that rip tear slash or whatever that thing. Uh, Guan Yu. Now, Guan Yu, I would say he's more of a. Uh, let me see how long this has been going on real quick first. Okay, not too long. Okay, because I thought I was like. 40 minutes in just talking about this but uh guan yu is he good forwards or backwards and this is just me just you know graphing people now forward or backwards guan yu he is more of a huh this is a hard one forwards or back i'd say he's more of a forwards i would never really seen any backwards play off of him like people in his face usually if people are in his face he's already lost the fight so for he's more good forwards. So forwards half and half, forwards, uh, back, and half and half. So my team Manticore back for sure. Same thing that I said before half and half, well not half and half but forwards with Loki full full on the gas pedal. Ishtar, I would say honestly she's more of a backwards. Like you have to get up in her face and then she wins that. She, because she excels at distance. So if you're actively trying to get in her face, it's gonna be a nightmare for you to deal with because you're having to dodge not only her three that dashes up and you stun her and, and she stuns you, right? The other stuff too. Shanga, I would say like half and half, but she's stronger on the backwards part. She can like she can be aggressive, but she's you know, she's stronger on the backwards part. And the only reason I say that is because of her ult. And her ult can really, like, basically turn the tables for her. It's if you're in her face. And she just throws that out and starts swiping. And swiping, no swipey. <laughs> Sobek, my, my one and only. My lizard king. My crocodilian crocfada. Uh, you'd think I'd know because I play this idiot so much. Uh, wh what would he be? I mean, he, he, is, a, he is an aggressive guardian. The only problem is, I've like I had very rare instances of where I played them in damage, right? So it's sort of it's a toss up, really, because when I play him damage, he sucks so much as a forward. Like, oh, not well, actually, no, he does. <laughs> okay, man, let so let let's establish that as the rule. He sucks as forward, 
But if you're actively trying to fight him and getting up in my face, I got my ult, which I can hit you with. Okay, yeah, so that's where I was going with that. So what I mean by he sucks his forwards, right? And it's like, don't get me wrong, he can do the damage necessary. But if somebody's actively running away from you and you're playing forward, as in you're trying to jump somebody and do like a real quick scuffle, you're like, oh, mm, oh you blind me what, mate? Or something like that, you know, the old England England scuffle. <laughs> like, hey, mate, bit rude to stick that knife in me, in it? But something like that, right? It's one of those, my TTK, even with damage, is too god-awful to get anything remotely done. But if somebody's actively chasing me or actively ignoring me and trying to chase somebody else... And I'm trying to protect them. And we're playing like in a backwards. Like I'm trying to back up. And they're actively shoving themselves into our team. I can shut that down. There's a reason why I got a kill here. Because I shut that down when he was act when somebody was actively trying to get into the team. Something like that, right? That That's the general like gist of it, you could say. But that, that was quick PSA slash... Don't dog on supports, man. You, it really gets you sometimes. And trust me, I know this build looks stupid, but you should try it. Uh, I was going to go, well, besides the Sentinels, right? With the split protections that gives you, like, gives your allies regular. So this is just basically giving everybody aura so they can shut up, right? I got these two for cooldown. For, like, cooldown and protections in general. Because this builds me protections the more I get hit by a different type. So, Genji's and Breastplate, 30%. That's the, And then the last 10% was supposed to be, uh, what you call it, Spirit Robe. And that would give me mitigation too whenever I would be hit with a CC. So, if anything, on this, best, this build would be best late game. Because my highest game, like my highest mitigation game with this was 188,000. And that's because we were like 15 minutes into a match and I was just running face first in the, into everything I could possibly find, right? And then my last item would be like very like situational where it's like, oh, hey, I might get sovereignty. I'm going up against a Mercury or a crit Loki. I'm going to get uh, Spectral or something like that, right? And then Genji's, uh, Ganesha knocks you up naturally. And then Fenrir too, he also technically knocks you up because he grabs you and yanks you away so get uh stone a guy is going to proc on both of them and the only reason i get stone a guy in the beginning and usually don't bother subbing it out is because one it gives me a buttload of health two it gives me regeneration and if you get stone a guy early you're uh, and i'm saying this like you need to try it out at least a little to see it to see my point of view because it's it looks stupid when when i have it but if you try it, you, you would see the reason behind it. And that's only if your play style is, like, very aggressive. And how long has this been going on? Okay, I'm almost done. 20, it's 23 minutes long. But uh, the reason I get stone is because it's basically, and this is me vindicating stone, right? The reason why I get stone to Gaia is because whenever I'm in a situation early game, where I'm fighting somebody, instead of taking my sweet old time trying to build Gauntlet of Thieves, right? And like, allies within 70 units receive 10 physical protection and 10 magical power. And then, look, that that's the only... Oh, aura corresponds, blah, blah, blah. Once you, you, this is the only aura item that he has for them besides this, right? Now, my stuff. This is my only aura item. Everything. I get stone only because and I I went off topic. But the reason I get stone, let me just say this and I can end. The reason I get stone of Gaia at the beginning is quite simply because you are unkillable at the beginning if you get stone of Gaia. You can make some you can make a stupid mistake such as and this only really applies to Sobek in like a very few instances. So usually only aggressive guardians would you want to get stone. If they're defensive like Ganesha, where I, where I said they're playing back, they're only good where it's like, oh, I got to help them if they're up in my face or whatever. No, don't get stoned on Ganesh. 
But if you're playing somebody aggressive like Sobek, where you're constantly like dipping your feet into the fight, like going back and forth over and over again, wasting mana nonstop, and you're actively making plays, get stoned. If you're not actively making plays, get gauntlet. That that's about as easy as it, I can sum it up. If you're actively fighting and actively trying to give your team assists and give them follow-ups, get stoned because that allows you to stay in the field longer and stay and fight instead of oh hey guys i can't go <laughs> i can't go anywhere yet i still gotta get my 55 stacks forgotten it i'll be over soon buds don't you worry i'm gonna help you as soon as this is built you you, you see what i mean but that's besides the point that's the end of the story all right don't screw over your supports catch you later